Many architectural structures incorporate a water feature as a prominent visual component of the structure. Some are beautiful fountains with water spraying up to 10 to 20 feet in the air. In order to begin creating a particle system, we need to determine what the particle system is going to do and what objects it will interact with in the scene. We need to set up the scene so that we get the results we're looking for. The scene we have here is an architectural fountain that contains two water spouts on the sides of the pool and a sphere in the middle. The first step is to determine what we need to have happen in this scene. We want water to shoot out of the two pillars that are in the pool and then bounce off of the sphere in the center. We don't want the water to just completely bounce away. We want some of the water to run down the sphere. We will use the M particle tools that are available to make a realistic simulation of the water in the fountain. To accomplish this using the simulation tools available in Particle Flow, we will need to add a modifier to two of the objects in the scene. The objects we want to add the modifiers to will be the objects we will have the particles collide with. The first object will be the sphere in the middle of the pool. The modifier we want to add is specific to the M particles that we will use for the simulation. M particles use the Mass Effects Dynamic Simulation System to accurately simulate the motion of the particles. By using this modifier, we are able to incorporate the granite sphere into the simulation of the particles. Select the sphere in the middle of the fountain. In the command panel, make sure you are in the Modify tab. Expand the Modifier List dropdown and choose the P-Flow Collision Shape World Space Modifier. When a particle hits a deflector, there are a number of options to set how it deflects off that object's surface. Using this modifier allows us to assign bounce and friction parameters that will affect the particles. There are several parameters that the P-Flow collision shape contains. However, there are two primary parameters that dramatically affect how particles interact with the surface. The first one is the restitution amount. This parameter determines how much particles bounce off of the surface. Restitution determines the percentage of bounciness for the particle when it collides. A high value makes the surface more bouncy, whereas a low value will cause the particles to hit the surface and not bounce as much. By lowering the restitution amount, you can obtain a realistic effect of water bouncing off of a stone surface. The other parameter is friction. This parameter determines how slowly the particles move along the surface. A surface with a high friction value will cause particles to be more sticky to the surface, with lower values causing particles to slide more easily along the surface. Let's change the parameters so they work with the particle systems to give us the results we're looking for. I'll set the restitution to a value of 0.5. That will set the amount of bounce off of the surface and cause the particles to bounce only a little and skim the surface. We want to keep the friction extremely low, so I'll set the value for static friction to 0.1. I'll set the dynamic friction to 0.1 as well. This will allow particles to gently glide along the surface of the sphere. Before we activate this modifier, we need to make sure that the shape is set to geometry and that we turn on Smooth Surface. Activating the Smooth Surface option will treat the surface as if it is smooth and not faceted. Once those options are set, click Activate to turn this into an active particle flow simulation object. The other object we want to add a P-Flow Collision Shape World Space modifier to is the water in the fountain. 
even though the particles will not be bouncing off of the water, we want to be able to use this as a way to trigger an event. Click in the Fountain Cam viewport and select the Fountain Water object. Again, add the PFLOW Collision Shape World Space modifier from the Modifier List dropdown. In the PFLOW Collision Shape modifier parameters, set the shape to plane. Set the restitution value to 0.3. Change the static friction value to 0.1 and the dynamic friction value to 0.1 as well. When you're done, click Activate. Since this is a simulation, we do not need to add any forces such as gravity. Next, we need to create the particle flow for the fountain particles themselves.